Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. We have a massive bombshell from Peter Navarro, okay? He just came out and revealed the truth and he did not hold back whatsoever, okay? He is teaming up now with Donald J. Trump to go full MAGA and just made one of the biggest moves to help Donald J. Trump, okay? This is a man who went to prison. Peter Navarro, he came out shortly after prison, spoke at the RNC, and just today, well, probably yesterday by the time you're watching this video, but I'm filming at night, Peter Navarro laid out the truth. So I have to share it with you guys. But before we do dive in, my friends, we are gonna read the Bible because God comes first, amen? Comment amen down below, my friends, if you believe God comes first. Today's Bible reading comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter three. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Amen. So I don't know if you guys saw, but those two young men who showed up at the Kamala Harris rally, they were protesting, they were pro-life, young Christian patriots. One of the young men had a sign of the cross necklace. He held it up and he said, Jesus is Lord. And Kamala Harris replied, you're at the wrong rally. <laughs> I mean, it was so sick. It was quite literally the worst, I mean, the, 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 most, the worst thing he could have done, she could have done. And at J.D. Vance's rally, he professed that Christ is king. And Donald J. Trump, you know where he went to today? Well, again, probably yesterday by the time you're watching this. Donald J. Trump showed up at the uh, 11th hour faith leaders meeting in North Carolina. And he gave a speech about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Eric Trump also came out. And he says, he said, we are a nation of God. And I was watching a really disturbing video about Kamala Harris. She was singing a video, singing a song, One Nation Under God, except she changed the lyrics. She got rid of God. And she, she changed the lyrics and she said, One Nation Under Groovy or something weird. I mean, what the heck is going on? Why do people still like Kamala? I do not get it at all. So anyways, let's bring on Peter Navarro. This was the massive speech that Peter Navarro just gave at a Trump rally. This is epic. For the first time ever, Bill Clinton was speechless. Peter Navarro praises Trump for ending the NFTA. Let's tune in, my friends. Let's listen to Peter Navarro. Donald, but he's right back there. He'll be with you in a minute. Wow. New story that's fake, but you're gonna love it. I want you to tell it tonight, okay, at your dinner table. You know that Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton is campaigning for Kamala Harris this week, right here in North Carolina. You know this? Okay, so so he's driving along in Hickory and he sees this burnout factory, right? It's a big burnout factory. He says to the driver, what happened to that factory? And the driver says, you happened. What? My daddy worked at that factory, says the driver. And when you were president in 1994, you remember this? Huh? You passed NAFTA. And he brought that factory to his knees. And then seven unlucky years later, Bill Clinton, you let China into the World Trade Organization and that killed that factory. Wow, so that driver of Bill Clinton literally told Bill Clinton, dude, you, what you did have consequences on America. That's why Americans don't like you, Bill frickin' Clinton. You all remember, we got some old timers here. All across the state, the textile. Comment below if you remember that, and also comment when you remember that he, when he had an affair on Hillary Clinton with Monica Lewinsky in the blue dress. Furniture Industries. In the Epstein saga. Went down the tubes, Mr. Clinton. And the fact is, folks here don't much like you. 
So Clinton looks at the driver and says, what are you, I don't understand. If you feel that way, why are you driving me? Driver looks at him and says, sir, I need the money. I need the money because Kamala Harris's inflation has brought us to our knees. There's some weeks I have to choose between food on the table, medicine in the cabinet, and a roof over our heads, sir. Crazy. But I'll tell you, Mr. Clinton, the most favorite reason I love driving you up and down the state of North Carolina is because you are the best campaigner for Donald Trump there is. Wow. Well, you get it, but Donald Trump... Huh? You get it, but Bill Clinton didn't get it. He said, well, what do you mean by that? I'm, I'm here for Kamala Harris, not Donald Trump. And he says, driver says, sir, Mr. Clinton, every time the people in North Carolina see you, they think of two things. One, Shafter. You are the one who shafted the NAFTA. Shafted. Cost them jobs, and you are the one that shanghai them with China, right? Yeah, these deals with China, guys, it's like, you wonder why Trump wants to drill baby drill and actually produce jobs in America instead of, you know, doing these deals with China. It's like, that's not helping America. But the other thing they remember is that Donald Trump, Donald Trump was the man who canceled NAFTA and got tough on China. Do you think lion Kamala Harris is going to get tough on China? Probably not. She's probably going to be best buddies with Xi Jinping. You think Kamala Harris is going to be able to be tough with Putin or Zelensky? They're probably going to just be... I mean, we all saw what happened with Zelensky these past three and a half years. Just give him check, keep writing him more billion dollar checks. What a joke. And for the first time was speechless. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, you tell that story today. The last thing I want to say is, you got to vote. You going to vote? Yes, sir. And you got to promise me right now, every one of you here, every one of you pirates right here, you got to promise me you'll take 10 other people to the polls and you'll get them there before election day. Will you do that for me? Yes, sir. Will you do that for Donald Trump? Who are you gonna vote for? Hey, you gotta say it louder because I'm gonna walk back there. He's gonna look at me and says, Peter, you're fired. <laughs> One more time because he's back there getting ready for you. Who are you gonna vote for? Wow, Peter Navarro. How epic. And if you guys remember, this was the moment. The crowd absolutely exploded at the RNC in applause. You guys have to watch this for Peter Navarro. He just got out of prison and went to the RNC. Watch this, guys. This is him walking out on stage. Look at the crowd. Wow. Look at that smile. Smile of a free man out of prison, fresh out of prison. The RNC was so beautiful, guys. And it was right after Trump got shot, too. Remember, they almost were gonna end up delaying the RNC, but Trump said, no, I'm not gonna let that guy delay it. So Trump showed up on time. And the RNC turned out to be the best event of the year. Maybe besides Trump showing up to work at McDonald's, because that was pretty cool too. Wow, how emotional it must have been for Peter that day. This is a beautiful thing, 
I think you just, yeah, I think you folks just want to know if you can see my MAGA tattoo I got there. <laughs> Where's your MAGA tattoo, Peter? Let's see it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, indeed, this morning I did walk out of a federal prison. That's crazy. Miami. In Florida? Joe Biden and his Department of Injustice put me there. This was actually Peter speaking right before reporting to prison. This is crazy, guys. Let's tune in. The little story here uh, is while I was going to prison today, um, you guys will uh, certainly focus on that little story, but what, what I suggest to you as, as journalists is that there's two really bigger stories that you might want to report on and, and even uh, do some research on. Hmm. Uh, because these are these are big issues. This is not about me. Uh, the, one of the big stories. Is I don't even know why he went to prison. Do you guys know why Peter Navarro uh, went to prison? Another really cool thing that just happened was J.D. Vance said that Jesus is king days after Kamala Harris mocked Christian pro-life protesters. Anti-Christian rhetoric and anti-Christian approach to public policy. I don't think we've. Just, I don't think that we've, that's right, Jesus is king, and I don't think that we've seen... I, I, I don't think that we've seen anything like this in modern American politics. Wow, that was so, so wild. So they actually brought on uh, the, uh, the young pro-life students onto Fox News to share their story. So I wanted to play a little bit of it because I think it's really cool. We remember Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade and they did as he intended. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. So sick. Doesn't get any lower than this, guys. Look at that creepy smile. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Oh my gosh, she even doubled down on it. <laughs> I didn't think it could get even worse, but it did. And she's laughing and cackling away as her liberal left, left, far left Trump hating lunatics cheer her on as she tells Christians to, to leave her rally. How, how sick. All right, so that moment we brought to you yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today, we'd like to bring in those students who yelled that out to Kamala Harris. The two pro-life students university, at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse, both juniors, uh, Luke Pulaski and Grant Beth join us now. Luke Grant, thanks for being with us this morning. Um, Luke, I'll start with you. Just take us into that moment. What what happened yesterday? We see the video clip. Is there anything more you can tell us about what you guys had to say and what happened afterwards from that video? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Um, I would say the first thing uh, I want to bring up, this is our first time taking an interview with anybody, and I think it's important because this is our raw, like, untold story. There's a lot happened that, a lot that happened off camera uh, that we said at the protest and or well while we were protesting and i guess we could start off with when she after she talked about overturning roe v wade and donald trump i yelled out to the crowd that abortion is the sacrament of satan whoa and when i said that i deeply do believe that as a christian and about 10 seconds go by and that's when the video of uh, my friend grant and i uh proclaiming that christ is lord and jesus is king uh, when we said that, and I think it's important to say this is a small venue and we we're about 20 to 30 yards away from Kamala at this point. There's a lot of controversy that says she wasn't talking to us or we left, we didn't get kicked out. Well, I can speak on Grant and I's behalf, um, on video, Grant's getting pushed and shoved. And, um, there's about five seconds after or before she tells us to go to the smaller rally down the street, you can see on the video she waves. She waves. She was actually waving to me, 
I uh, took this cross off my neck that I wear. And as we were getting asked to leave, um, I held it up in the air and waved at her and pointed to her. And she looked directly in the eye, kind of gave me an evil smirk. And um, yeah, I just want to clear that up and confirm that she 100% was talking to us. Mm -hmm. And there's other controversy that says we left. Um, we were getting shouted at, pushed, assaulted, um, screamed at. So we were walking away. Wow. But there's about three um, attendees there, volunteers that kicked us out with press with badges or whatever they had. And I specifically remember this one man saying, you were uninvited and unwelcome to this event. You need to leave. And all they did was walk us out the door. They didn't tell us why. No cops escorted us out. Uh, no secret service. And uh, yeah, that's our story. <laughs> wow. Getting the truth out there. I mean, these rallies are so strange. I mean, the, what is going on in our country? I mean, guys, if Kamala Harris wins, we are going to be living in a very, very strange country. I mean, this is... I mean, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this at all. And it's sick. It doesn't matter your religion, gender, race, ideology. I mean, if you... If you... um. We should all be treated equally, right? And if somebody comes in and saying, um, Jesus is king or Allah, praise Allah. If somebody went to a Trump rally and said, praise Allah or whatever, Trump would not tell them to leave. <laughs> so we, why would you want to tell them to leave? It's like, uh, it's so strange to me. So, so w where was this event held exactly? Uh, this was held in our University of Lacrosse's gym. So, so did you, uh, they did you pay tuition literally... to go to the university? Uh, I do. I do pay tuition to go to the school, but this was a free event. Um, this is in a really small venue. They only said there was about twenty five hundred people there. Which, when she told us to go to a smaller rally down the street, I didn't really think that for a political rally there could be smaller than twenty five hundred people. But you, you were... <laughs> These guys are funny. Allowed to be there. You mean you paid to be there? Yes, basically. correct. So they were literally at his school. This story's getting even crazier. Correct. Grant, I want to get your point of view from there. So <clears throat> is, is there anything you want to add to Luke's story? And and what did it feel like? I mean, she basically said, you said, you said or Grant said something about, uh, or Luke said something about Jesus, right? Jesus is king. Jesus is Lord. Amen. And she said, you're not welcome here. I mean, I want to know what you felt in that moment and if there's anything you want to add to his story. First of all, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Charlie, for having us. Um, you know, we're very blessed to be here. Um, These are very young, respectful men. Very well spoken. We're very blessed to speak on the national stage. Um, it's important that we get our message out um, in any way possible. Um, First of all, we didn't really intend on, you know, going at any people. Um, people online were calling us mega fascist. Um, that was never our intention um, going to this rally. Um, we were only here to protest our faith, and um, we did so. Um, we never expected this to grow as large as it was. Um, essentially, Whoa. she was speaking, and we decided to say Christ. Did you see that? Somebody, this lady shoved that guy. Um, Look at that. Actually, she was speaking, and we decided to say, Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. Um, and we got a lot of backlash, um, as you can see in that firsthand video. Wow, they're literally cheering as they're kicking out the Christians. So weird, so wild. Um, I was pushed uh, by an elderly woman. Um, we were heckled at, we were cursed at, um, we were mocked. Um, and that's the biggest thing for me personally, um, in reflection of the event, um, Jesus was mocked, uh, you know, True. <laughs> his disciples were mocked, um, and that's okay. In reality, we did God's work and we were there for the right reasons. Um, and God is watching us in this moment. Um, you know, I'm all about being a cordial person, no matter your beliefs, um, but I do believe that, um, uh, we were sent there by God. Wow. And I do believe this timing, you know, 18 days before the election is imperative for young Americans and first time voters like myself to understand that 
this is what you are going to get with a Kamala Harris presidency. Yep. You are going to get the Kamala Harris that alienates over 50% of the U.S. population that is Christian. Wow. You're going to get the Kamala Harris um, that skips the Al Smith uh, Memorial Dinner. Um, wow. No um, major presidential candidate has skipped since, I believe, Walter Mondale in 1984. These guys are incredibly intelligent. Um, over, you know, now over 40 years ago, um, I'm a 20 year old man. Um, that's double my <laughs> life. So um, that's a long time for someone not to attend that event. Um, that, along with our experience on this day, um, it's a good storm for um, the opposition. And it just proves what type of person Kamala is and what type of leader she will be. Um, wow. 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 God bless these young men who actually stood up for their faith. And God bless Peter Navarro. God bless Trump. Thank you all for watching today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below, my friends. And remember to keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying.